Welcome back to Old School Sports and our Tennis Manager 2021 playthrough. We are nearing the end of the 2022 season. Just have the indoor season ahead of us. Uh, you can see we've made a lot of progress this year. Maxime Cressy is ranked 55th in the world right now. Stefan Kozlov ranked 199th. Uh, last week, both started off the season training at the academy, and they're going to be playing in the same tournament this week. They're both going to be at the Columbus Open here in the United States. So it will be interesting to see uh, when they potentially would meet each other at this 80-level event. You can see Stefan also had a, a first-round bye, similar to Maxime. And now we'll get a look at the draw to see uh, what what uh, things look like. Maxime is the number one seed. Our first match is going to be against the 584th player in the world, Jose Hernandez Fernandez. And uh, Stefan is actually the sixth seed. Um, so uh, he's going to be facing Oluka Yode Alafia Damina, uh, 574th ranked player in the world. So... Um, going to be interesting to see how this tournament goes. Uh, it looks like we would potentially be meeting one another in the semifinals if uh, everything went uh, went uh, our way. But a uh, long way to go until we get to that point. Well, both Maxime and uh, Stefan won their first max matches in straight sets. Uh, Maxime with a 7-5, 6-4 uh, victory that was a little more challenging than we would have hoped and uh, Stefan with a three and three victory to move on to face the 15th seed we're going to simulate this tournament quickly and a victory for Maxime six four six seven six four and Stefan also won so we are getting closer to a potential semifinal matchup but they both need one more win. Uh, Maxime is playing the eighth seed, and Stefan now has a bit easier of a draw with an unranked player, 567th in the world. We're going to simulate these quickly also just to uh, see if we can move on. 6276 six win for Maxime. Oh, although unfortunately Maxime suffered an injury. Oh, he should recover within two to four days, so uh, that is uh, hopefully not too bad. Although I have seen that, unfortunately, some of the injury with these, um, they say that the assistant has unregistered them from tournaments, but sometimes they end up unregistering from them tournaments way ahead. I don't think the AI around these injuries in this game is perfect, but it is what it is at this point. We'll have to live with it. So we are going to see um, Maxime against Stefan potentially because the other odd thing is that I've noticed when people have these minor injuries, um, there's not really any way to pull out of the tournament. Um, if he gets hurt further, they'll ask us if we want to uh, just drop out, but um, drop out of the match and forfeit. But um, the, the AI around this doesn't seem optimal. We are going to play out the entire tournament here. It's the first time uh, Maxime and Stefan have faced each other since we have uh, had uh, Stefan join the uh, Old School Sports Tennis Academy. So we're going to see how this match goes between the two of them. Uh, I guess as Maxime's coach, I'm technically rooting for him, but... In a way, no matter what happens, we'll be a winner because uh, one of these guys is going to get through to the finals of this 80-level event and uh, hopefully come out with a victory. And we are in the early stages of the match here between Maxime and Stefan. And... Uh, on serve thus far, although uh, Maxime has been close to breaking Stefan, and he finally did. Um, but Stefan broke back. Good for him. Looks like we could be headed towards a tiebreaker. And the uh, up-and-comer, Stefan Kozlov, beating Maxime in the first set, 7-6. Maxime is playing at full intensity right now. Come on, show me what you can do. You are the uh, leader of this academy and the highest ranked player at this academy. And uh, early break, uh, Maxime is uh, 
bouncing back with a 6-3 win in the second set. Let's see how the third set goes. Need to make sure that Stefan doesn't play the way that he wants to. We are once again on serve. Ooh, early break for Maxime. But Stefan broke back. And Stefan broke him again. So Stefan Kozlov upsets Maxime Cressy to make it to the finals of the Columbus Open. So uh, disappointing for Maxime. A semifinal appearance. Not going to do too much for him at his ranking level. Uh, but Stefan getting into the uh, finals, uh, it's going to uh, be a nice step forward for him. Perhaps uh, Maxime's injury probably probably didn't help him, so uh, hopefully he can rest up. Uh, looking at his schedule, though, I think he does have a tournament again next week, unfortunately. Yeah, the Orleans Open, a 125-level event, so uh, we'll see how that goes. And so Stefan is going to be on to the finals. Um, normally we would coach our player in the finals, but I feel a bit conflicted about doing that since he just beat Maxime. Oh. Oh, they didn't let us. I guess because we were at the same tournament, they did it, didn't let us simulate it. So unfortunate. Um, Stefan only made it to the finals. Um, obviously a good good result for him, but would hope to win when, when we're there. Uh, did not happen this week, but... Uh, a good result with a semi-finalist and a finalist in this 80-level uh, event among the two players at our academy. Unfortunately, Maxime did recover uh, relatively quickly from his injury, so hopefully there won't be any lingering effects when he be, uh, begins to play at his tournament this week. You can see that Stefan is at a 100 level in San Francisco this week. Uh, Maxime going to be at a 125 level, the Orleans Open. Uh, Sasha, why do I call him Sasha? Stefan Kozlov. Uh, apologies for that, Stefan. Um, he uh, had a relatively early loss in the San Francisco Open, was going up a level to a 100-level tournament for him, so not shocking that he's not going to be as effective there. Uh, we'll see what we can do with Maxime at the 125-level event that he's playing this week. And a disappointing uh, run for Maxime. He lost his first match at the 125 level event. Um, we're probably going to uh, have our cash balance go down to zero in this upcoming month because we're not playing in any real major events. So that's not going to make us incredibly popular with the board. You can see Maxime's uh, first round loss there. Uh, disappointing. And uh, okay, we did... Uh, We did uh, get a $50,000 infusion when we uh, went, uh, went negative at the end of October. Um, the hope is just that that's enough money for us to, to get through the rest of the year. Would have liked it to be a bigger amount, um, but we kind of were doing the math. And with our expenses being about 38000 a month and our... Uh, guaranteed revenues only seven thousand a month um we've got to earn a lot from our players to stay afloat and uh, we're just not playing in the level of tournaments generally and being successful in the level of tournaments that will be be generating enough money so if we do get an infusion of cash from the uh, directors um our next step is absolutely going to be to upgrade the business center which will increase our average revenues per month to 17,000 from 7,000, which will help us avoid uh, uncomfortable situations with the board like the one we just went through. Well, we've played another couple of weeks, um, not really great results for Maxime. Uh, lost his first match at the Orleans Open, and then he just lost his uh, first round qualifier at the Shanghai Masters. So, um, you know, two quick losses in tournaments for Maxime. Uh, Stefan was uh, training last week. He's going to be in Claremont, California this week playing a lower level event. So uh, odds are he will be pretty successful there. We'll follow uh, how the training goes for him, uh, for Maxime, and how the tournament goes for Stefan here. And see he won his first match in the 20 level event here on Wednesday. Ooh, he got bounced as a quarter finalist. So uh 
Not a great result for a 20 level event, but just a uh, reminder that despite the great success we've had with Stefan uh, thus far this season, um, you know, he's still, a, he's still a developing player that's got room to grow. Well, Maxime just lost in the first round qualifying at the, for the Rolex Paris Masters. So um, he lost, as you know, in Shanghai qualifying a few weeks ago. So we're hoping to get into a Masters 1000 level event, uh, but unfortunately uh, not going to have happened this season. Um, I mean, he has gotten into some Masters 1000 level events. I should correct myself. We were hoping to get into the main draw of a Masters 1000 level event and then also win a match or two to get to the round of 32 to um, meet a goal that we had with him, which uh, I don't think there's any more Masters tournaments to try to achieve that this season, unfortunately. Uh, Cheryl Pitt is looking for a uh, new contract from us. Uh, She's done a good job. Uh, we will extend her, give her a little signing bonus to stay on. And uh, we are nearing the end of the season, just a tournament or two left for uh, Stefan and Maxime, and then uh, they will be back at the academy training the last couple weeks of the regular season. Um, and then uh, we'll be going on vacation in the off season for a few weeks. So Maxime is uh, at the academy training this week. Stefan is at the Charlottesville Open, where he's beginning to make a run through this 80-level event. Oh, just ended as I jinxed him. Uh, earned a little bit of money with our 51% cut there, but uh, you can see uh, as we get to the end of November, we've uh, got to earn some money, and we don't have a lot of tournaments left to do it. Uh, the board is going to be real unhappy with us if they have to infuse more cash into us. Kind of the challenge of starting at the bottom rung of the uh, tennis academy world rather than starting with a more established academy, which had made things easy, easier for us, but it's not a challenge if it's easy. And for the final tournament of the year that Maxime and Stefan are going to be playing in, um, they're both going to be at the Knoxville Open here in the United States as they try to close out the season. You can see both of them are in top form, great morale, excellent shape. Uh, it's been a good year. Maxime wanted to get into the top uh, 70. Stefan wanted to get into the top 300. We've achieved those biggest goals with, uh, with both of these players. Uh, looking at the draw, Maxime is the number one seed in this 80-level event, so the uh, pressure is going to be on him. And uh, Stefan is the fourth seed, so uh, similar to uh, when they played uh, in a similar level event a few, uh, few weeks ago at the beginning of the indoor season, uh, they'd be facing each other, it looks like, in the uh, semifinals if they uh, both get that far. So uh, hopefully that will be the case. Well, Maxime just did his part of the bargain, uh, getting through the quarterfinal matchup with a 6-0, 6-2 win. Uh, let's see if Stefan can meet him. Uh, yeah, they've both been on a good run here, and Stefan did win 0-1. So uh, the teammates will be facing each other once again. The first seed and the fourth seed in the semifinal, so things happening as expected and the second and the fifth in the other part of the bracket so uh, no real shockers here at the 80 level knoxville open in knoxville tennessee and maxime will be looking to avenge his previous loss in the semifinals to stefan uh, a month or two ago you will not let another loss to him happen maxime you are the big dog of the old school sports tennis academy. Never forget that. We're on serve in the early stages of the first set here. Oh, Maxime with an early break, and uh, Maxime with a couple breaks there at the end to take the set 6 3, and he's going to be uh, serving here in the start of the second set, so it's breaking well for him. Keep up the good work, Maxime. But we are down a break in this uh, second set, so Stefan is bouncing back. 
not going to make it easy. These players are pretty evenly matched, as we saw in the first time they uh, they faced each other in the uh, few weeks few weeks ago. Take back control, Maxime. Don't let Stefan dictate. Maxime got up an early break. Just needs to keep holding his serve. Got a second break. So a 6-3, 4-6, 6-1 win for Maxime Cressy over Stefan Kozlov to move on to the finals of the uh, final tournament for uh, both of these players for the 2022 season. So we will move on to the final. Uh, we'll play through that match against Marco Cecchinato. See how uh, Maxime does as he tries to finish his season with a uh, victory. The one seed and the two seed facing one another here. Have never faced uh, Cecchinato before, the 30-year-old Italian. See how we can do against the baseliner. So we're still on serve in the early stages of this first set. Oh, a break for Maxime. That f break helped Maxime out. He's now one set away from finishing up his season with a victory. Keep up the same rhythm. We are still on serve here. Oh, we just got broke. But we broke back. Exciting 6-4, 6-5 victory for Maxime Cressy over Marco Cecchinato. Maxime is your 2022 champion at the Knoxville Open. Great match, Maxime. Great way to finish the season. Didn't earn a ton of money, uh, you can see, and this is the end of this, the end of uh, the earnings for us, and we've got only twenty-four thousand here, and uh, we run about a thirty-one thousand deficit each month, as you know. So, uh, the board of directors is going to have to infuse more cash into our academy, which they're not going to be happy with. But uh, it is what it is. Well, one piece of good news as we get close to the end of the season, we've uh, moved up another level in our skills, which will help us with our training of Maxime and others at the Academy going forward. So uh, we continue to make some progress here at the Old School Sports Tennis Academy. Well, we've reached the end of the season. Uh, we're near the end of November. Um, the board is delighted with our work at the academy. We'll see if they still feel the same way in about four days when we run out of money. <laughs> but they have said that uh, hopefully this is when we get evaluated and there's not another evaluation coming. And they do say that they're going to invest more money into the academy than they invested this season. Uh, they put in 300000 last year. Obviously would hope for uh, more this season. Uh, now kind of talking. Um, Stefan Kozlov, 100% of our goals. He's satisfied with our collaboration. Um, he may wish to review the terms of his contract. Um, I'd like him to keep playing with us. Uh, let's see where we stand with Maxime also. Um, Maxime, uh, you know, he missed a couple of goals, but he's satisfied with our collaboration too. Um, so going to work through both of these and kind of uh, figure out whether we want some uh, new conditions. Um, yeah, the goal with Maxime was to get into the top 70, which we did. Um, Stefan wants to get into the top 100 this coming year. Whew. Gonna be tough. Um, 
Ooh, and the revenue share is going down. Let's try to keep that up a little bit higher. There we go, 22%. So uh, that's going to hurt us. We used to be getting a lot more, uh, a lot more from him. Uh, we used to be getting over 51%. Now it's down to 22%. So going to make it a little trickier for us to make money. Um, sign the contract with Stefan. And then we still have to uh, respond to Maxime. I'd say let's just keep the same uh, same contract with Maxime. If he wants to do something different, uh, we'll find out. But... All right, Maxime got into the top 50 in the world. Um, you can see in the uh, indoor season to finish up he was 15 and 5 with the uh, 80 level tournament victory so continued strong performance for Maxime Stefan uh, also really good a 19 and 6 record uh, did not win any tournaments in this uh, indoor season but uh, obviously moved up a lot he moved up almost 200 spots in the rankings over the past year so very excited to keep the collaboration going uh, with these players for next season. And Maxime's come back with his new goals. Uh, wants to get to 35th in the world, reach the round of 16 in a Grand Slam and a Masters event, and a quarterfinal in a 500 level or 250 event. So very ambitious goals for him. Um, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how they go. Um, players are both uh, on holiday now. Uh, physical condition. They're both in really good form, feeling good about things, in good shape. They're going to be gone resting up for the next couple of weeks before we begin training for the 2023 season. Our next episode will be an off-season review of uh, hopefully investing further into the academy and uh, making some strides financially to keep things moving in the right direction for next year. Thank you so much for watching and hope you have a great day. Take care.